folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And today we're going to be revisiting Stella Artois, which I uh, first reviewed back in 2011, 10 years ago almost. I think it was December 2011 as a matter of fact. So uh, this can here is um, brewed and canned by uh, AB InBev in the uh, UK rather than Belgium, but uh, yeah, I have had this uh, UK version uh, before. They used to stock it at uh, Dan Murphy's, uh, oddly in 500 mil cans rather than 440 mils, which we uh, have here, and it was uh, it was quite decent. Hmm. Now, um, back in uh, 2011, I only gave this a 7.5 out of 10, uh, believe it or not. For a while it became my uh, staple beer, uh, actually, for a, a brief while, but uh, yeah, the uh, availability of the cans, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, became an issue uh, about two years back, but lo and behold, uh, First Choice Liquor are now uh, stocking them. Hmm. All right, so anyway, without further ado, I'll uh, crack this 440 mil can, which has been uh, Deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for a wee while now. Pour it out into this uh, pint glass. Okay, give it a good pour, a good aggressive pour. Okay. All right, so it uh, yeah appears a lot more active than the one I reviewed. Uh, yeah, back in uh, in 2011. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite uh, effervescent, uh, a clear, well, somewhat clear, golden colour. Uh, about three fingers of bright white, uh, frothy looking head. All right. Uh, yeah, definitely picking up an aroma of, uh, you know, subtle, sweet uh, grains there. You know, there's a bit of a citrus uh, sort of aroma coming through as well. A sort of lemon peel, but... Uh, yeah, it smells uh, quite appealing, uh, I must say, folks. So, um, yeah, we've uh, talked about the appearance and the aroma. So, that could only mean it's time for the most important part, the taste test. So, uh, it's my first beer of the day, so I'm very keen to dive in. Cheers to you all, folks. Mm. All right. Up front, a nice uh, hit of sweet bready malt. Um, you know, finishes very crisp and clean. Yeah, goes down smooth. Um, the body, somewhere between light and medium, leaning towards medium. Definitely not watery at all. Um, must have another gulp. Well, definitely hitting the spot on a um, hot spring day here um, in uh, Toowoomba. Mm. Yeah, I'm really uh, enjoying this and yeah, the bitterness is quite minimal. A very malt forward brew. Uh, very tasty, very quaffable. Um, yeah, I mean you could certainly session this even at 5% uh, ABV. I think the price point is the only thing that uh, lets it down. I think a, six pack of this from memory was like $25 and uh, I can't remember exactly what the carton price was somewhere between 70 and 80 mm. so I mean it's much better value just grabbing a, a, a case I suppose mm. all right well I suppose I should have one last gulp of Stella Artois for 2021 and uh, give it a score out of 10 Okay, well, um, nothing I can really fault about it uh, flavour-wise. Yeah, it's going down a treat today. Uh, yeah, it's a cut above most Euro lagers. Uh, I'd probably be inc inclined to give it a, uh, a solid 9 out of 10 for 2021. 
I can't believe I gave it 7.5 back in 2011. I must have had some extraordinary beers back then, which is probably the case. I mean, uh, yeah, the assortment of uh, <laughs> beer you could get back then here was um, far superior to uh, you know, what's on offer today. That's uh, for sure, yeah. Radio, well, uh, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. But until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>